All right, y'all, you already know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP comes to you with another how-to, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass your uh, factory amp. So I am working on a Altima, and uh, we he has the blow system. I mean the Bose system in here and uh, if you have a premium sound system and you have a factory amplifier it may not be loud enough for you or your factory amp may be broken or whatever the case is not outputting the power but either way it may sound better or you want to hook up a four channel amp it's going to be easier to tap into your outputs on your wire harness from the uh, factory amp so uh, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick all right y'all so the first thing we want to do is find our speaker wires now I went on ahead and cut these but I'm going to show you uh, a way on how I found them. The easiest way to find your speaker wires within these two harnesses is to find some type of wire diagram. If you have access to all data, direct text, uh, www.the12volt.com, Bulldog Security, they all have different type of uh, wire diagrams and schematics and they just tell you what the wire colors are for a lot of things. Find out one of those, uh, get one of those diagrams for your car that way you know which color is positive and which one's negative because these two uh, harnesses they have both input and output wires input wires are signals that's coming from the factory radio to the amp to tell the factory amp what it needs to do the output wires is the power that's being provided from the amp to the speakers so that's what we need to tap into because we're now going to be providing power from our aftermarket radio to our speakers so what I did is I just followed my uh, wire diagram and it told me which harness which pin what were the wire colors which ones positive and negative um, to actually tap into and I'm gonna show you another way on how to actually figure out uh, which ones which by using our face tester so this right here is our phase tester. Uh, if you guys need one, I actually have the link in the description. Uh, and we have where we can either press this and pop the uh, speaker or we can leave this on. That little red light comes on. It's going to allow us to actually test our speaker wires and I have to keep touching it all at the same time. So uh, what I want to do is... Uh, they got little uh, leads that's on them that I just, you see they come with clamps and I just clamp two of my uh, multimeter leads on them and then now I can come over here and uh, test my wires. So I'm going to put this one on this one. Alright, so I got that one wire wrapped around my red lead and I got this one on my green with the black on my black. And now we hear this. They're just popping that speaker. So there's another way. If you guys are uh, actually changing the speakers out, you can just go ahead and look at what the wire color is on the speaker and then look at the ones that's at the amp and then try to find those and then you can confirm them by using the phase tester. So I've seen that this was white with black and green with black. I found my white with black and green with black over here. As soon as I hook that together, it starts popping that speaker. Boom. Uh, same thing with this one, brown with the white stripe and brown. So I should be able, actually it might just be easier if I use the clamps, for real. Clamp this onto a speaker, and then I take my negative side and clamp that onto the other speaker. Boom, and now it's popping that one. All right, so quick tip for you guys. If you want to find out what's positive and what's negative as far as like your wire colors and stuff like that, I will show you. So while using your um, phase tester, we can find out if the speaker's in phase or out of phase, which will let us know what's positive and what's negative. So right here where it says uh, speaker test, I will pop this. So y'all see how that speaker's going outward? If the speaker's going outward, that means that we're in the right polarity, which means that our positive is on our positive and our negative is on our negative. So since we know that that side is positive, if I hook my harness up, then I know that since the brown with the white stripe plugs in closest to this side, and let me show you what I mean. 
All right, so we know that this side was the positive side and that when I put my harness back in, it lets me know that that brown wire with the white stripe is positive and the solid brown is negative. So that's the way to find out if you don't have a wire diagram and uh, it's just trying to give you guys a couple options. So now that I found my speakers, I need to find a way to get all these wires up to the front behind my factory radio and we will use multi-conductor wire or what's called nine wire. The reason we call this nine wire is because inside this uh, blue jacket, we have nine wires. You have your eight speaker wires, two grays, two greens, two purples, and two whites. And you have a blue wire in the middle for a remote turn on. This is perfect because if you're hooking this up behind the radio and then you can put your remote turn on from your aftermarket radio to this and then run this to your four channel amplifier if you want to and then just have everything nice and neat in this one little jacket and you don't have wires going all over the place. Since we are just bypassing the factory amp, I'm gonna cut the blue one because I don't really need it and then now I would take my wire curlers here and connect them to those and then all we gotta do is run this jacket up to the front and uh we'll be good i gotta clean it up first though so hold on so now that i found out what's positive what's negative what's front and what's rear before i actually finish taste uh tessa taping this thing up making it all pretty and whatnot even though you won't see it uh, i just wanted to show you guys that when we cut our harness you will not be using the wires on the connector side you will use the wires on the harness side because these are the wires that's actually going to our speakers so the two whites are for your driver front two grays or for your passenger front two greens are for your driver rear two purples are for your passenger rear speaker we're going to hook those up now that we have this hooked up like this i'm going to finish taping this up drop this down like that and then we will run our nine wire all the way to the front under the carpet real nice and neat uh straight to the back of the head unit all right so as you can see i got the nine wire ran along there it goes between the back comes right up here to the front and i got it wired up directly to my cd player so now my cd player is going to be outputting power to the speaker wires and i just showing you that the harness that i'm actually using we're not using any of these to send signal to that amp because we unplugged it now i'm gonna finish test taping this up but once it's all said and done that's literally it if you guys are doing a four channel amp you would do the exact same thing if you wanted to bypass your amp instead of going here to the actual uh radio you would take these wires and go to your uh four channel amplifier so it's the same principle